Hey guys, it's Kim here. Welcome back to my gaming channel. In today's video, I have a time-gated quest for the 3.4 update of Genshin Impact. So this is Tuddler's quest line and I have the full guide for you guys today. To get this quest, you must complete Dune Entombed Fecunity and then wait one day in real time. Now, this is a very important quest to complete because you need to do this quest in order to activate another quest and this will allow you access to the last Dendroculus that is available in this update. So once you have activated the quest, we're going to go to Tuddler's last known location. Once you find her, you just have to fight some Fatui. So once you have defeated all of them, go and talk to Tudla. Once you have done that, we're going to teleport back to the waypoint and then we're going to talk to Masira, which is her dad. And once you have talked to him, that is the first part of the quest done. So very quick and easy. Now to do the next part of the quest, we need to change the time. So wait until the next morning at 8 a.m. So once you change the time, the next part of the quest should be able to be activated. Now we're just going to talk to Tudla. Now for this quest, we are going to be doing some hunting. So let's go teleport to the waypoint right here. And the first part of this quest, we're going to search for traces of the red vulture on the way. So in this valley, let's just investigate the shining yellow parts. We're just going to continue on and investigate all of the shining bits that we see. Once you have investigated everything, we're going to head to the Red Vulture's Lair. So to do that, we're going to use the Four Leaf Sigils and then we are going to glide all the way up. You get some dialogue and once that is done, we're going to enter the Red Vulture's Lair. Now we do need to change the time in order to fight the Vulture. So change the time and then once that is done, we can go and fight the Red Vulture. Okay, so once you've done that, let's go teleport to the next waypoint and then we're going to hunt the next enemy. Now, we're going to go into the Scorpion's Lair. Head all the way down to the bottom and then you will get some dialogue and once you have completed that, we can fight the poison scorpion. So once you have defeated it, you get some more dialogue and then we can go to the next spot right here. So this is the last one that we have to hunt. Turn around and let's go into the cave and we are going to talk to Tadla. And then she's just going to sit out on this one. So we're going to go all the way down by ourselves. And then you'll see the flying serpent just right there. So I'm going to go up and fight it. Once you have defeated it, a cave will unlock. And then inside, we can go in and grab the fragrance. So once you've grabbed that, you get more dialogue. And a chest will actually spawn. You can grab it if you wish. 
But for now, we are going to teleport back, and then we're going to report back to Masira. So he's just down where we started. So once you talk to him, you are going to give all of the pieces or the prey that you have hunted. So I'm just going to give him all of that. And then once you've done that, the next part of the quest is finished. So you just get some dialogue and then this part is done. Now to activate the next part of the quest, you just need to change the time to the next day in game. You don't have to wait one full day in real time, just have to change the in game. So once that's done, you see that there is a world quest icon. We can chat to Masira and then this is going to activate the last part of this quest line. So teleport to this waypoint right here and then we are going to go to the place where Tatla is waiting. Now once again, it is very important that you do complete this quest completely in order to activate the next quest. So we're just going to go to that mark spot and then you will see that Tadla is just waiting on this side. Ignore all these for now, we will use them for the next quest. So here she is. We're going to talk to her and then she wants to fight you. So we're going to go and defeat her. And then once you have defeated her, we are going to go back and then confront Masira. And yeah, so we'll go to the location and then you'll find that they are actually not there anymore. But that is pretty much the whole quest. So please complete this quest to activate the next quest, which you need to open a cave and inside is going to be a dendroculus. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Also follow me on all of my social media and I also have a Patreon if you guys want to support me. Thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.